What's up guys, it's Ruben here with a collectibles guide for Defunct. There are a total of 40 collectible tokens spread throughout the game and collecting all of them will earn you the Grandmaster Collector Trophy. There are also secret spots in the game which are hidden locations where you can find the trickiest collectible tokens. There are four of these secret spots and I'll be showing them as we collect the collectible tokens. Just to forewarn you guys, some of these collectibles are in tricky locations and might require many retries, so make sure to get comfortable with the game's mechanics. Alright, let's get started. The first two collectible tokens and the first secret spot are found in the first level of the game, Home. Token 1 is found right after you open a large gate and go through a small tunnel to get to the other side. Follow the hill down and jump onto the platform to collect it. This unlocks the Apprentice Collector Trophy. Token 2 is found right before you go through the second gate requiring two keys to get through. It is also located in the secret spot. Okay, now while facing away from the large gate, go down the hill and make sure to gain a lot of momentum and turn right. Try to speed your way up the ramp and jump off it to reach the secret opening. This took me around 10 tries so it is quite annoying. But once you get in there, the O Secrets Trophy will unlock for finding the secret spot in the home level. Also make sure to go down there and pick up your second collectible token. The next 5 collectible tokens are in level 2, Lost. As soon as you start the level, go right into the small tunnel to find your third collectible token. Token 4 is located directly after the previous one. You will come to a small ramp which you can jump off into a bounce pad. Bounce on the pad and get to the other side to get the token. Token 5 is located at the next checkpoint. From this checkpoint go left into a cave. The token is beside the small crash ship in the middle of this area. Token 6 is located a bit further. Once you go past a small puddle of water with a sign saying Paint Factory on the right, you will come to a small hill area with multiple archways. Inside these arches you can find speed boosts. From here go left up the hill to get to the next token. Token 7 is located close to the end of the level, where you'll come down a hill. Go left when going down the hill to go inside a small tunnel. You can find the token in here. The next 5 collectible tokens are in the third level of the game, Over the Hills. Token 8, the first token in this level, is the trickiest to get to. You need to build some serious speed to get to its location. From the starting checkpoint, go down the hill and go left towards the water. Make sure to hit all the speed boosts. You need to go off the ramp at the edge of the water and jump to the next piece of land. In this piece of land, there are four speed boosts. Make sure to collect them all and go off the ramp to the left and get on the white ramp on the left. Now make sure to hit all the speed boosts and jump from one ramp to another and get to the top floor of the building over here. The token is located at the top of this platform. This can take a couple tries, so make sure to keep practicing the jumps. Token 9 is also in the beginning of the level. From the starting checkpoint, go towards the second tower in front of you. Make sure to build enough speed and jump off the edge of the close by hill to reach the bottom surface of the tower to get to the next token.
Token 10 is at the next checkpoint. From that checkpoint, head right into the small path. At the end of the path, you can find the next token. Collecting this token should get you the Journeyman Collector Trophy if you follow this guide. Token 11 is from the same checkpoint. Go forward from the checkpoint and jump into the pipe. The token is in the middle of the pipeline. Token 12 is close by the next checkpoint. Head right from the checkpoint and head towards the fallen tower. At the end of the tower you can find the token. The next 5 collectible tokens and secret spot are located in level 4 into the woods. Alright, the first collectible in the level is token 13. This one is another tricky one. It is located at the area where you first learn to magnetize on the walls. Here, if you look to the left, the token is located up a small ledge. To get there, you need to speed down the hill from the left side and jump towards the token and, you know, keep jumping over the small ledges to get up top. It will take a couple tries and, you know, you, you need to get a little bit lucky here, so good luck. Token 14 is right after the previous one. Once you magnetize and get to the other side, you will need to magnetize onto a side wall to get to the other side. Right after getting to the other side, turn behind you. You will notice a small pipe. Go through it to reach a secret spot with the next token. You will also unlock the more secrets trophy here. Token 15 is close to the next checkpoint where you have to go through the pink barrier to turn the rotors off. Once you turn the rotors off and go to the next area, go right past the checkpoint and jump on the rail. You will grind to the other side. From where you land, go right into the small path to find the next token. Token 16 is close to the next checkpoint. You will notice a building to the left. Head right into the woods from the checkpoint to get to the next token. Token 17 is at the end of the level where you need to break the pink barriers. Go to the left one and go up the hill to the left. Go past the rotors to find the next collectible inside the pink barrier. The next four collectible tokens are found in level 5 Valley. The first collectible in this level is token 18 right after the first checkpoint. Go down the hill till you can see a wall you can magnetize on towards the left. Magnetize onto the wall and jump from one wall to another to reach a platform to, to get to the token. Token 19 is the next token and is right after the next checkpoint. Make sure to build up speed and magnetize onto the wall on the right and collect all the speed boosts. Now jump from one wall to another to get to the higher area past the next checkpoint to get to the token. Alright, the next one is token 20. After collecting the previous token, press the options button to respawn at the checkpoint. Now head left till you can jump off a cliff into a pipe in order to collect the next token. This should unlock the expert collector trophy if you're following the guide. Token 21 is at the final checkpoint close to the end of the level. From the checkpoint, go down the right path and jump off the bounce pads to reach the token in the air. This will take a couple retries. Okay. 
The next four collectible tokens are found in level 6, Dawn. Token 22 is right at the beginning. Take the left rail to the left side platform. Now head further left to take another rail to the area where the token is. Keep going at full speed and drive up the ramp and jump off to grab the next token. The next one is token 23. A little further from the previous collectible you will notice giant fans blowing air from the ground towards the sky. Using the Energy's boost to drive onto the fan facing the mountains that are towards the right of the small gap you need to cross to continue the level. Keep using the Energy's while in the air to reach this area with multiple ramps. Drive towards the top of the middle ramp to grab the token. You can use Energy's to get to it or use Magnetize to stick to the wall and drive towards it. Token 24. From the previous token, drive off the cliff and head to the next crossing. Jump onto the rail to ride it. You will automatically collect it in the middle. Token 25 is right after the previous one. At the next crossing, jump into the bounce pad and try to jump through the arch and collect the token. The next 5 collectible tokens are in level 7, Junkyard. Token 26 is at the start of the level beside the first checkpoint. Go right towards the tower. Head past the tower to the right and follow the speed boost to get to the token. Token 27. After collecting the previous token, restart the level and head left towards the giant wheel. Beside the wheel, you can find a pool of energy juice, the blue glowing liquid you know, substance. Now look towards the cliff that is beside the pool. You can see the token pass the second platform. Drive off the cliff and use energy juice while jumping to grab the token. This will take a couple retries. Token 28. Now go past the wheel towards the second wheel behind it. Head left from the second wheel towards a small collapsed tunnel to find the next token. Token 29. Now head back to the wheel you came from and drive up the wheel. Make sure to magnetize to stick to the wall. Go all the way to the top to get the token. Token 30. From the wheel, go forward towards a ramp and jump from it to reach a platform with a ramp you can go back and forth on. Grab the energy juice. Go back and forth on the ramp and use energy juice to reach the token high in the air. This will unlock the Master Collector Trophy. The next four collectible tokens are in level 8, back on track. Token 31. After the cutscene you get, you get some energy juice. Follow the left path till you go on the left side wall. Make sure to grab all the speed boosts to get airborne and grab the token in the middle of the crossing. Token 32. After grabbing the previous collectible, respawn at the checkpoint. Now take the right path into the tunnel and boost off the ramp. Try to land on the platform on the right and jump towards the token in the middle of the crossing to grab it. This might take a couple retries so you can, you know, respawn and try over and again. 
Token 33, right after grabbing the previous token, follow the path into the tunnel and then head left towards the giant wheel. Drive up the wheel all the way to the top to get to the token. You can also use magnetize to stick to the wheel surface. Token 34 is right after the end of the tunnel. Once you come out of the tunnel, head left and use all the speed boosts and jump off the ramp to grab the token in the mid-air. The next two collectible tokens and secret spot are located in level 9, Oasis. Token 35, at the start of the level, head left into the waterfall to go through it. This is a secret spot with a token at the back left on an antenna dish. Jump onto it to collect the token. This will also unlock the El Dorado trophy. Alright, token 36, after running into all three pink barriers to turn them off, you open the gate and can move to the next part of the level. Once you go through the gate, turn left and head all the way to the tunnel. Inside this tunnel, you can find the token. The next two collectible tokens and secret spot are located in level 10, rock bottom. So token 37, you will come to a point where you can't jump past the crossing. You will fall down inevitably to a lower area. Go right into the small tunnel. Once you come out of the tunnel, you can find the token. This is also a secret spot, so you will unlock the left behind trophy, and that's the last secret spot in the game. Token 38 is at the end of the level on the final white ramp to the left. Make sure to use the Ener Juice while going off the ramp right beside the pools of Ener Juice to get to the ramp in front of it. Make sure to gravitize properly to get down onto the ramp with the token. Alright, the last two collectibles are in level 11, Crash Site. This is the last level. Token 39. Once you reach the pools of Energies, use the ramp on the right to reach the bottom platform. Now follow the path to get to the token. And token 40, last one. From the previous token, follow the path till you get to a small tunnel. Go through the tunnel and jump off the ramp. Try to angle yourself towards the right rail. Land on it and ride it to grab the final token collectible. This will unlock the Grandmaster Collector Trophy if you follow this guide. And that's it guys, all the collectibles are yours. Collecting all 40 collectible tokens will unlock all skins and air tricks. Have fun with them all, hopefully this helps guys. That's it for this one. If you guys liked or found this video helpful, drop a like to help me out. And please do rate and share this video whenever you get a chance and is much appreciated. For all the newcomers to the channel, welcome. Enjoy your visit to the channel and consider subscribing to stay tuned to more guides and game content. Also helps the channel grow. I'll see you guys next time and as always, take care.